All right. This is currently my system running using a actual computer. I actually took it up, uh, took a computer apart, took it from outside of a computer case. And here's a keyboard that I use if I want to control stuff on here. But this is actually running a computer now. If I want to go on the internet and whatnot, I can go over to Google, anything. But now this is now running. Um, like I say, it's a computer inside here. Let me show you what I, how this looks. It's going to look a little crazy. But everything that's in an actual computer is now sitting inside this cabinet. You even got a fan to keep everything cool. You got a DVD drive. You got your cords. Different thing. There's your motherboard. Everything is inside here. You can see the keys from the inside. This is a power switch to turn it on and off. It also has its own audio plugs. Um, it has USB ports on it also. Let's slide this back. Um, what I will be running on here, and I haven't finished this yet because I got to figure out why my sound is not on. I think I need to install the drivers for the sound. Um, but when this computer starts up, it will automatically start up in this mode. But since I already have it up, I'll just start it up myself. You can notice my sound for some reason is not showing. It plays like a little intro video as it starts up. And yes, all these buttons and joysticks do work with the setup. You see, this is the beginning. Um, Thanks, right now it's at it's looking at Mario. And it plays all types of stuff. You got your Pac Man or your arcade systems. And it automatically just, when I'm not playing it, it automatically just scrolls through different games and whatnot. When I finally get this sound working or whatnot, I will actually start up a game, <clears throat> show how it works. Um, but right now, this is just like a nice little demo intro thing that it shows whenever I'm not actually playing with it or anything like that. <clears throat> 